Hey everyone, so I'm here today with a Thanksgiving kind of makeup tutorial. We're going to be doing the eyes and the lips. I already did my base off camera. It's just my normal routine, so we're going to go ahead and jump right into this tutorial. The makeup palette I'll be using today is the one that's uh, pretty loved by the beauty community. This is the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. So I have it right here so you guys can see. So to start out and just like lay down a transition shade so all the shadows blend together, we're going to go in with Shy, this pinkish color and color right here. And I'm just going to take that on a MAC brush. I've used it so much that the number is barely there. It's a 217, I believe. So I'm just going to dip into that color and we're just going to lay that all over the crease of the eye. I also already have um, brow bone highlight and inner corner highlight, so if you see that little shimmer, that's what that is. It's just Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Highlighter. I'm also going to go ahead and flick it out a little bit on the outer edge. So now that we have pretty much laid down that color, I'm also going to go into the shade Sandalwood, which is in the corner of the palette right here. And I'm just going to use this color in the crease as well, a little lower, same brush too. Now that we kind of really contoured the eye a bit and brought that shadow in the crease, I'm next going to be going into the eye with, this is like an Urban Decay dual sided brush from the Smoky palette. I'm going to take the fluffier kind of pointy side of it and I'm going to go into shade Bossy from the palette which is this one right here. And I'm going to also keep that in the, the center of the crease but also bring it down to the outer V of the eye. And I'm not going to be bringing it all the way to the inner corner of the crease. I'm just going to keep it from the middle to the outside. And here, concentrating it at the, in the V and dragging it on the lower lash, uh, upper lash line. And also I'm flicking it out at the same time. Now I'm just going in and using little stamping motions and I'm intensifying the color here on the outer edge. And my eyes were primed. I used a Too Faced Shadow Insurance and I just set that with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Now I'm taking it and just on that like flatter side, I'm just kind of fading it towards the center. Okay, so I know for this next part, some people, you can cut your crease in order to get like a smooth, a more, no not smoother, a cleaner look. However, I'm not going to cut my crease. I just want everything to kind of like fade together. So the next shade I'm going to be going in from this palette is the shade Fling, which is this really pretty shade up here. It's not as textured as Rose Gold or Trust Fund, but it still has some grit to it. So first I'm going to be going in with this little Sonia Kashuk brush. I'm going to wet it and then go into that shadow, see how it applies at first, and if not, I'll go in with my finger since I haven't used this shade on my eyes before. This is kind of a fluffier flat brush, but it's good to get into that little corner here. Yeah, this shade does pretty good with the brush. And wetting it helped prevent any fallout that we could have had. So I'm just following my natural crease and I'm just gonna fade it into that other color that we laid down. With little swipey swipey motions. I kind of wanted to like fall and fade over to the outer a little bit past the middle of the eye. I think that looks gorgeous. Okay so I'm just gonna repeat that step on the other eye. Now that I put the shadow on both eyes I'm gonna go back in not adding any extra product to this Urban Decay brush that we laid down the darkest color with and I'm gonna again do little tappy swipey motions to just fade this color and give it a nice transition. And then I'm just going to take the what we used in our crease without any new product and just go in right here in the inner corner and fade any product that went above the natural crease. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same steps on the lower lash line. So this little Urban Decay brush has like a little smaller end. I'm going to take the shade Shy again, the first color we laid in our crease, and I'm just going to drag that along the lower lash line. And making sure to connect it with the outer V. If you notice, that So Hollywood highlighter that I had in my inner corner kind of transformed a little bit into more of a rose gold as I was blending the other color, which is kind of cool. I mean, it wasn't my intention, but it looks nice. 
Then next we're going to take that same brush, going in with shade sandalwood, just repeating the same steps as the above part of the eye. And lastly, I'm going to take Bossy and I'm going to put it just from the middle out. And I will not be applying the shade Fling on the lower lash line just because I want to keep the attention to the top of the eye. For liner today, I'm going to just take the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in shade Trooper because the turkey isn't going to cut itself this Thanksgiving. And I only brought the liner up to about where my eyeball, like, ends, like the inner part of my eye, like the brown, where that ends, that's about up to where I brought the liner, so I'm not going to bring it all the way to the inner corner. This is so nerve-wracking, I'm like shaking because I haven't done an eyeliner or like a wing in a while. So now that the liner's on, I had a little bit of trouble with this wing, perfecting it to match this one, but I think they look pretty good. So I'm just going to go in next with the Benna Mascara, nothing new here, this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I love L'Oreal, this L'Oreal mascara anyway, and I always use their eyebrow pencil, so those are my two favorite products from them. I'm applying lower lash mascara, however I'm going to keep them a little bit shorter today. And I'm not really flicking them down, but rather out. And I'm not going to apply on the very inner corners. Before applying false lashes, I'm going to go ahead and do my lips. Today for lips, I'm going to be using Jeffree Star Mannequin. This is a little sample in the Nude Vault. I'm going to go in with this because I want the center of attention to really stay on the eyes today. No lip liner, just the lipstick by itself. So the lashes I'm going to be using today don't really have a name. They're just these little lashes from AliExpress. It's like a pack of like five or six for like a dollar or two. So I will be leaving them linked down. I always link the products I use in my videos. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. I'm going to be using House of Lashes glue. I really prefer this one over the duo glue. It is a little bit more expensive, but I love how it looks. I like to count to 30 seconds before applying these lashes or this with this lash glue in particular and I also like to like kind of move these lashes around a little bit just to loosen up the band so it's not as stiff yeah just kind of do this and as you can see now that I've applied the lash I kind of applied it in the same manner that I applied my eyeliner so I laid down the lash right where my eyeliner ended where that brown part of my eye on this side stops so then you get this effect with the eye so I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the same step on the other eye I also like to pinch my natural lash and the fake lash together once it has dried down a little bit. And they will stick together because you have the mascara on, so that's going to attach to the other eyelash. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this Thanksgiving kind of makeup tutorial, and I wish you guys all the best this Thanksgiving, that you get to spend time with your families and your friends, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye everyone!